life how are you it's another week and for once in a long while i'm actually in a good mood really i've just been <sighs> i've been feeling meh and uh trying to get myself out of that mood i did some work last night which always makes me feel good i like the feeling of productivity so we are just on our way to playgroup now dropped um is well off and i managed to speak to his teacher i'm so happy he's going to reception in january so which means that he's changing schools i decided to defer him because his nursery is absolutely amazing it's outstanding and it's quite hard to find a good school i think that's part of the reason why as well that in the next few years we'll definitely have to move out of london that's a future plan something that we're thinking of what was the point I, I think yes yeah, so the point I was trying to make is that I wanted to have a discussion with his teacher about um, if Israel is actually going to visit his primary school this week as a form of transitioning into school and I'm quite happy with the primary school we chose it, it took us a really long time to Okay, mommy has to pay for it first, okay? Thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, are you ready to go now? Playgroup's just turned into Mummy Central and everyone's having a good gossip and a good natter and da 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 and everyone's very sort of like sympathetic to pregnant women because we've all been there. I have reached the point where everybody is telling me their birthing experience like literally everybody i don't mind personally as long as it's a good story and you know try and shock me because this face is not phased have you not heard my birthing experience how i had this little one i will leave it in the eye and you just have to everyone's just really trying to be really friendly so you just have to take it in your stride so what I've learned from most of the discussions that I've had today with other mums is that I should probably get prepared for not the worst but like extreme case scenario like just in case the baby comes out at home. So um, on my next midwife appointment, I don't know why I'm telling you this but you might be interested, is maybe to get them to prepare a home emergency kit just in case the baby does come at home. I don't want the same situation whereby I'm on the way to the hospital and I mess up another person's car. Now my oh my goodness guys, I need advice. Isaac, this little man here, has become so clingy lately. Like it's getting ridiculous and he's starting nursery. But I'm, so I need him to kind of loosen up and um, also I have a feeling that, you know, children can sense things. I have a feeling he knows that, obviously he knows the baby's coming. We talk about it all the time. But um, he's almost like reverting to that baby-like state and not really talking, not using his words and crying instead of vocalizing. And I don't know what to do. What do I do, my son? Because I never had this problem with Israel. Um, Obviously two different children, different temperaments, different ages. I do <sighs> any tips. And we are still walking. I think I will do a video at some point in the future. I keep saying this at some point in the future with every topic. Um, but I will do a video at some point in the future about uh, sort of like the emotional state and the emotional well-being of a pregnant woman the kind of roller coaster because everybody's different and every pregnancy is different yeah. no, no implication of continuation 
of the rights thereby transposed. They would simply exist on the domestic plane. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've just stepped in and uh, I totally forgot that today it's the Brexit Supreme Court hearing. I think it's gonna go on for a period of time. I don't know if any of you are aware, but basically, if you don't live in the UK, what's happened is uh, the Prime Minister can't implement this whole Brexit by herself. There needs to be like a whole agreement with Parliament and whatnot. Anyway, I'm not that into politics, but certain things I do find interesting. The Rob. Gruffalo's Child. Is this one of your favourites, Isaac? Yeah. You like this book? Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark woods. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big animals will be after you. I met him once with a Gruffalo. I met him a long time ago. What does he look like? Terrible says. He's terribly big and terribly fast. So he doesn't tell you. Big bad mouse? Could that be the t tail of the big bad mouse? No. Who is it? A ma A snake. A snake. Israel, you're making me dizzy going round and round just watching you. I'm getting dizzy. Isaac, are you okay? My boy is so brave. He literally just fell over and bust his lip and he's bleeding. And now he's like, nothing's happened. This is my knife. This is the healthiest meal I've had in weeks. We've got stew with couscous. I've got, because I don't have salad, I've chopped up cucumbers. And then I've got a pasta salad here. I know it's not exactly the healthiest. But... <laughs> Are you gonna have a good day at school today, baby? Yes. <laughs> We're going. Say bye to the door. So just to add some context to this imagery, I was having the first of many works done to my home. What you see here is an old coal shoot which we were having broken out to fit in a nice new glass panel with a new door not just for aesthetic purposes but also to block out any draft so i didn't get to talk about it but i was really excited about it at the time but yeah that's what you're seeing So this day was the 8th of December, it was Priya's birthday. I wasn't 100 at all, but this was straight after school and I really wanted to be there to mark the day. So we just went to Sainsbury's to get some bits and bobs and rushed to my mum's house. Hey to you. 
Happy birthday to you, dear Priya. Yay. Clap your hands. Yay. Yay. Sit down, sit down. If you can't hear me properly, uh, my throat's a little bit, mm, don't worry. Hopefully during the day, my voice might come back. And we're ta I'm taking Isaac to Bouncy Castle really quickly for a so short session. And today's Israel School concert. I don't know if I told you, I'm so excited. Israel is Joseph in the school play. <laughs> so adorable, he's so excited. I don't think he realizes. Let's go guys. Oh god, so in between dropping my camera, trying to sort out parking, um taking Isaac to Bouncy Castle, which we've already done now. Um what I was trying to say is my little Israel is Joseph in the school play. I'm so excited, I think it's so cute. And guess what? His best friend. He, um she's Mary, which I think is hilarious. I'm like this nursery are trying to set my boy up for real, for real. Isaac, are you okay, babe? Yeah. Did you have a good time at Bouncy Castle? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to a shop and then we're gonna go back to Israel School, okay? just done from Israel's um, first performance so cute I hope you can hear me my voice sounds terrible um I might not vlog that much as I thought as I wanted to today because I probably shouldn't be talking that much I need to let my voice rest so if my voice doesn't come back I'll probably catch up with you lot tomorrow <laughs> Another day, going to cinema with the little one, should be exciting. Me and Pizza Hut just taking my sister out with her friends for her birthday. So we just came back from the movies and now we're in Pizza Hut. Um, so, so far so good. So it's the next day and I didn't really get to end the vlog last night but yesterday was I was taking my sister Priya out because uh, last week I'm gonna say last week because it's currently Monday it was her birthday and I promised her that she could have something really different because usually we always have like a family gathering or, or even if we're not having like a party we just do something within the family to mark the day this time around I thought oh she's a teenager or well, she'll soon be a teenager she just turned 12 and she started secondary school now maybe it'd be, it might be nice for her to take a couple of her friends out go to the cinema go out to eat so that's what we did so we just went to see a movie went to see um what's that movie called beasts of where the where to find the beasts or something it's kind of like a harry potter style movie but i pref like i prefer it than harry potter i really enjoyed it i fell asleep in a movie which is brilliant i know it's very granny-ish but you know in these stages that i'm on every bit of sleep that i could get is like it's like you know a little bit of 
battery life if that makes any sense so I'm, I'm always saying i'm not really sure of the content because lately if i tell you if i tell you you know i'm not going to tell you but thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up subscribe share my videos um oh yeah i got my voice back which is brilliant uh i, <laughs> I remember the day i was trying to vlog and i lit i couldn't talk and people were like you crazy you need to go to bed so yeah see you next week until my next video Think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye.